Hey guys, Dr. Polly. Uh, today we're going to do the sweep bottle. Uh, to get started on the sweep bottle, I'm going to create a sketch of my front plane. And I'm going to take a vertical line and establish that line's length as 7 inches. As so. And I'm finished with it. So I'll just go ahead and exit out of that sketch. And now the next sketch I'm going to do is also on the front plane. So I'm going to click my front plane. Uh, start a new sketch, and I'm going to use two center lines um, vertical center lines as such. Now the length of these lines is irrelevant, but what does matter are the following things. Uh, make sure that your tops are aligned horizontally and the bottoms are aligned horizontally. Uh, that's key to making sure that all your sketches are going to line up on the different planes. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take a line tool and start from this bottom point and create my vertical line. And now I'm going to use my arc tool as well. So I'll just go back and touch and we'll begin the arc tool. Such. And then come out and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, join at this point. If it's not convenient for you to join at that point, <clears throat> Uh, just uh, grab the points and merge them together. Now, the next thing I need to do, <coughs> excuse me, is to go ahead and set my distance at 500 thousandths here and one and three quarters here. I need to make sure each arc is equal. And then I need to dimension at least one of those arcs as 1.5, and that should make all the arcs equal as radiuses as well. The next step on this is to go ahead and check my tangencies. If you notice, with all of them selected, uh, they're all all the arcs are tangent to each other. Now, so what I have to do is take this arc and this line and make them tangent, and then the same thing with this arc and this line, make them tangent, which they already are. The last part here is that this outside arc needs to be tangent to this uh, guideline here. So I'll go ahead and grab that and that and make them tangent as well. Uh, the last part here, uh, this height of the vertical line is 1.5 and everything should be fully defined. All right, so we're finished with that and we'll exit that sketch. Now. If you were to look at this, you can see that both these sketches are on the same plane, but now I need 190 degrees to this plane, so I'm going to pick the right plane and create a sketch on it, and that shifts everything over. This uh, sketch on this is simply a vertical line on two arcs, so I'll go ahead and come out here a ways, uh, give myself a nice vertical line, uh, one arc and two arcs, and I'm finished with that. Now. Uh, the points of interest are I'll need a center line. I'm just going to go ahead and attach it here. And that's so I can take this line and this arc and go ahead and make them a tangent. And then grab the top points, make those horizontal so all my sketches will line up horizontally constrained. I've got stuff selected here I don't need. Might have to shift it around a little bit. And now that's horizontal uh, here and this point as well need to be horizontally constrained. Um, if you haven't done this before, you just hold the uh, middle mouse button down and you can move around and see what you need to be doing. Uh, control 8 to center up again on what I'm doing. And I'm going to put a dimension from here to here. That's 500 thousandths as well. And from here to here is 1 inch to there. Now the only other thing I need to look for is to grab both of these arcs and make them equal. And then the next thing I want to do is it wants me to take this point in reference to this point and make those horizontally constrained. Okay. Once again I'll back out of that and I'll show you again. It wants me to take this point which is on the first arc and make that point horizontally constrained to the end of the other first arc. So I'll just select those two points and make them horizontally constrained. And that finishes out um, that part of the sketch. So now I've got a path 
two guide curves and now the last thing I need to do is on the bottom is to create um, the uh, profile in which we're going to sweep and that profile is simply going to be on the uh, top plane create a sketch here's the center I need to use my ellipse tool I'm going to click and we'll draw an ellipse out somewhere you can draw it up and then I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to join this point and this point I'm going to merge those together or make them coincident and this point and this profile notice I picked the whole profile I'm going to pierce it okay and piercing basically joins it and so now if you look at it I have my um, profile my path and my two guide curves for my sweep all right so let's work that out here so now with all four of those sketches there I'm gonna to go to features I'm going to go to sweep the first thing it asks me for is the profile which is going to be and I'm just going to pick them off of the tree uh, the next one is going to be the path which is the straight one so this is correct so far and now I'll select guide curves which are going to be in my case skate sketch uh, eight and nine okay uh, then the other things you want to look at your tangencies and you want um, to make sure that your path to tangents are on starting ends and that should be it so we'll finish it and there is our swept bottle now uh, going down a little bit more uh, what they want you to do is to create a one inch extrusion on the top of this bottle. So I'm going to say extrusion, top surface. Uh, I'm going to convert entities so I can sketch out that circle. And then I'll finish that. And it's one inch. So one, enter, enter. There we go. Uh, the other part is they want to create a fillet. And they're going to use... Um, an asymmetric fillet uh, with the first one being 375 thousandths and the second curve is going to be 250 thousandths as so uh, you're going to select the edge here you're going to look at the profile to make sure it's the way you want and it is now if you don't if it for some reason you type those backwards you can flip them around if you want and so you need to really kind of just pay attention to how you want that to be done okay and so he wants radius 1 to be the 375 thousandths so that's why I switched it okay and radius 2 to be the uh, quarter inch and so we're finished with that say okay there's the bottom of the bottle now the next thing he wants to do on this is to go ahead and um, offset a plane and begin our threads so I'm going to say reference geometry plane, uh, pick the top surface here. I'm going to offset that 125 thousandths. I need to go ahead and flip the offset so it's down into the ball and say OK. And that's where we're going to start. The next thing I want to do is on that plane, I'm going to create a sketch. And I'm going to convert entities. I'm going to grab this uh, circle again and say OK. So that traces that circle down on my plane like so once that's been finished I'm going to exit out of that sketch and with that I'm going to go here um, in the feature mode sketch still selected go to curves and helix and here's where we start to enter our uh, our information the pitch on this is going to be a 0.2 pitch for two and a half revolutions and the starting angle is going to be zero degrees now if you'll notice it's going the wrong direction and so I need to uh, flip reverse direction down like that alright once I've got that helix I'm going to finish and there's my helix and so the next part is is to create the threading for the outside of the bottle I don't need this plane anymore so I'm going to hide it and so I'm going to pick uh, my front plane and I'm going to create a sketch on it and I could split this in half if I wanted to, but uh, 
with the section view, but I'm going to work from the outside here. And what they've got going on here is taking a line tool. Uh, I'm just going to oversize it right now for clarity. Uh, come out this way, come back, make a curve, and then come back to this point like here. Um, go ahead and line up both of these uh, horizontally, and now we can go ahead and start our dimensioning. Uh, the first dimension I'm going to go with here is from the end and hold shift so I can select the end of the arc as 0 0.075 and then the angles between this line this line are going to be 25 degrees. The next thing I need to do is to tap in this last radius here which is 040 and that should make it look right and it does. Now in order to get this to follow this uh, helix I'm gonna have to grab the uh, midpoint hold control grab my helix and tell it to pierce. Alright and that should be it. Why that's not fully constrained, we'll find out real quick. I like to tug on these to see what's wrong. All right, that's right. Um, I'm sure it's just a matter of, oh, that's why. Those two are not considered tangent. There we go. All right, so let's fix that. I'm going to uh, exit out, and now we're going to do another sweep. And so I'm going to say sweep. I'm going to pick uh, this profile, which is easier out of the menu. Uh, the uh, path is going to be this. I need to go both ways. And there's, we finished our sweep. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to round these off, okay, because the threads need to gradually come in. And so the easiest way to do that, let's hide that helix, is to go ahead and say I'm going to do a revolve this surface. And then I'm going to convert entities to get that shape and say, okay. And I'm going to exit out. And it's going to ask me uh, what my axis of revolution is. And I'm going to pick that line right there. All right. So right now, 360 degrees isn't really going to mess with it too much. Um, but safe to say, 120 degrees which should be more than enough. Uh, just make sure it actually goes into the object. I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to rinse and repeat on this side. So I'm going to, once again, I'm going to say revolve uh, this surface. Uh, convert entities to trace it. Good. Exit out of my sketch. Uh, axis of revolution is going to be there. Uh, 120 degrees or so should work. I say OK. And there we have finished the bottle and the threads.